Hey, with Coach Terry Bowden of the UL Monroe Hawks. And Coach, you've been three years here, over 40 years in coaching. What is the strength of this year? us team you know I, I i really just think that the chemistry of this football team you know the 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 effort that a team or a team members give the hard work that they show the commitment they make is going to be a reflection of how they're going to play in the season the more you sacrifice and the harder you prepare the tougher that it is to give up and not and, and, and when it's when the games get tight that's why as i talked about our quarterback and all the adversity he has been through trying to find a home and waiting his term I believe has to pay off and of course Aiden Huntington who has not played a down for us yet but came in here and was the number one player in our weight room the number one tackler on our defense uh, leader in every team meeting you would ever have uh, it is a, his type of commitment as well so I think that's the thing that I think the most about this team right now they are committing to be the best football team we can be and it's going to take all of that to have a winning season in this conference. What is Jaya's uh, skills? What does it allow you yeah. to do offensively? Well, he's got the strongest. He got a very strong arm, strong as uh, probably stronger than Chandler, and he's an outstanding runner. He's got speed and can run the football. In today's game, uh, especially what we do, if you can throw uh, with a strong arm and run well, you've got a chance to be a versatile quarterback. The day of just a quarterback sitting in the pocket is pretty much gone. Definitely in college, probably in the NFL, and so he has those skills. So right now, it's just a matter of getting in the game, surrounding him with good enough people, because I think he can get the ball to the person that he has to get it to or when he has to keep it himself he can run it talk about getting the right people you have utilized the transfer portal but it's not about getting bodies you want to get the right fit yeah you have to first of all i don't plan on building my team to the portal we lose people in the portal we're a small school uh and i think quite often grass will look greener on the other side of the fence and so we'll lose people in the portal so the first thing we got to do is replace what we've lost and quite often if you lose a junior you can't go back and get a high school player to come in and replace that and have a chance to be as good so the first thing you've got to do out of the portal is make sure you don't go backwards as you replenish the personnel uh, but every now and then we'll also want to add to it so there's the, the tough thing right now is to understand that there's high school there's junior college there's portal and there's graduate transfers and every one of those needs to play a part and the formula at ULM will be different than the formula somewhere else. So we're trying to find that perfect formula for us. But I think, as I said earlier, you've got to embrace the portal first to make sure you replenish what you lost. But also, if a player can make you better, let's don't wait and try to develop somebody down the road. You go to high school and you get a guy that's that's a diamond in the rough. He's six foot six, but he's skinny. All you're doing is grooming him for a, for a SEC school. In two years, if he fills out, he will be gone as quick as he can be gone because that's the way things are going. Last question for you, Coach. Your schedule is brutal. You play the cadets of Army, and a couple weeks later, you travel to Texas A&M and then finish up at the end of the season, Ole Miss. What does a schedule like that, How? what is the benefit of that for your team? Well, I mean, obviously, you make a lot of not nearly $4 million playing Ole Miss Texas A&M when you're a smaller school with a smaller budget. That's a large chunk of change, and so you've got to accept that as it goes with the territory. Now, at Akron, we had the same thing. We had to go to two, and there's only two teams, us and Southern Miss, in this conference that are going to play two big power fives on the road a couple of them and everybody else is either one or they got a home and home uh but we we, we accept that that's what we got to do uh i love playing army for the fans but would i love to play somebody that that is not as good uh as a as a non-conference team uh, yes but i think the 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 the, the, um, the fact that our conference is so good and then a team like us that's got to play some money games, it does make the challenge even harder. But like I say, I try never to make the success of a season based on things I can't control. And I can't control the schedule totally. We have a conference that's tough. It's predetermined. Our four non-conference games, you can almost bet two power fives, a one double A we can have for homecoming, and, a, and, a, and another group of five that we hope home and home we have a chance. Coach, good luck this year. Thank you.